So this is part two of my adventure ride to Bath via the Green Tunnels Greenway. After a coffee at the old Bath Green Park station, I'm hopefully cycling towards Portney Bridge, which crosses the River Avon. It's a very scenic part of Bath, with the river and weir way below. But guess what? I completely missed that, <laughs> and I get partly lost. And guess what too? I've left my maps. My maps, I spent days working out the route and everything. So I've stupidly left my maps back in the car at Midford. Do. So I asked someone who points me in the wrong direction, unfortunately. So I completely missed Pulteney Bridge and the river, but then I also forget about it anyway. Ultimately, I'm heading for the start of the Kennet and Avon Canal, which also happens to have the deepest lock in the UK. Although that's not quite true, it's the second deepest lock. Eventually I get there, but completely miss my river shots. Dull again. So, this is what I filmed somewhat earlier, 39 years ago in fact. Along with wife and kids, we had a fab day out in Bath. And these are the river shots and Pulteney Bridge that I actually missed today. Unbelievable. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. I meet a couple who kindly send me off in the right direction this time. <laughs> Heading for the start, the very start of the Kennet and Avon Canal. So now the plan is to follow the canal on the towpath all the way round to Dundas Aqueduct. After this it's back to the Two Tunnels Greenway via Moncton Coombe to Midford and I intend to go through Coombe Down Tunnel twice. Yep, and then back to Midford. Apparently is England's deepest lock. Better check the facts, but I think it is. Okay, we're now on the Avon Kennet Canal in Bath and we're heading round to Dundas Aqueduct. Yeah, okay, let's go. As you'll see folks, I've speeded up quite a few sections of this video, otherwise you'd just die of boredom if you haven't done already. Well, it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day. Well, of course, I chose a good day to come drive down here. I wouldn't have come down here if it had been pouring with rain, obviously not. So, <laughs> it's one of the few good days we've had this summer, this year, so far. Is it afternoon already? <laughs> That guy in the blue and white striped shirt, I eventually bump into him three times. He's obviously doing the same circuit as me, as far as the canal goes anyway. <laughs> I never get stopped to chat to him though, that's the thing. Oh well.
Thanks, guys. I certainly wouldn't want to cycle along this path in, in very wet conditions. There's a real danger of sliding into the canal. So again, I have to leave the towpath. And then I come out to a road and which direction? But after a couple of moments, I think it was a right, then a left into a park. And then, yeah, across the bridge. And now I find myself on the other side of the canal. Following this canal route is not quite that straightforward. Quite often you have to leave the uh, towpath, go up over a bridge and try and find your way back down the other side. Hiya. Local knowledge helps enormously, of course, but uh, anyway, it's a bit of fun. All right, guys, let's get through the tunnel. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this ride. Just zooming along the side of the canal. Absolutely fantastic. What a gorgeous day. Oh, yeah. Okay, time to activate warp speed. Very tempting to stop here for an ice cream. Looks great, but I really want to get to Dundas Aqueduct. Hopefully, there'll be somewhere there for ice creams. Whenever I'm out cycling on my road bike, there's one thing I always have to do, and that's chase another cyclist down if I see him up ahead. Sometimes I get overtaken, but if I can, it's fun to zoom past and then I hope I don't get overtaken myself. As a result, I have to keep the hammer down, just keep going hard, 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 without looking behind me and hope I don't get overtaken. <laughs> this really is a fab ride around here, it's so scenic, and yet it seems to be taking forever to get to Dundas Aqueduct. Over the bridge for Dundas Aqueduct. Yeah, I'm here at last. Dundas Aqueduct is where the Kennet Canal goes over the River Avon and also a couple of railway tracks too. <laughs> no, I don't do bum shots. <laughs> Can't see any signs for ice creams, etc. Ah, but just over here, there's a signboard. Yep, yeah, it's only a five minute walk away, or two minutes on the bike. So, this is Brass Knocker Basin. <laughs> oh, this place looks great. I'm gasping for a nice ice cream, I really am.
Right, so now I'm going to try and find my way back to Midford and do some more of the tunnels. Just up some steps, then turn left from Moncton Coombe. lovely old house looks interesting so I stopped for a quick photo. I nearly overshoot the path back onto the two tunnels greenway and now I'm heading back towards Coombe Down Tunnel. and then into the cold again, and then back out the other side, and straight to Midford, back to the car. forgot. When I get back to Tuckin Mill Viaduct, I intend to go down below to the lake and get some shots from there looking back up to the viaduct itself. Those applying squeaky brakes. Uh, so I can't get a bike through there. That certainly looks impressive from down here. been a grand day out, a really grand day out, fantastic fun, I've really enjoyed it, filming, photographing, cycling, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>